So if you look up the question, can I defrost my windshield with hot boiling water or will hot boiling water break my windshield or something like that? Most of the answers are going to tell you that you shouldn't do it, that it's going to break the windshield or crack it or make a pre-existing chip spread or something like that. Um, so I've already done this ten, about 10 times. No, it's been 10 times. Um, and I haven't had any cracks or uh, there's already a chip in it and that chip hasn't gotten any bigger or anything. So only thing that it's done so far is remove the ice off the windshield. Uh, it's worked pretty good. So I, I'm not saying I'm recommending that you do this because of liability factors and everything. Uh, just because it doesn't happen on my car doesn't mean that it won't on yours. So, so far the temperatures range from 20 degrees to 27 degrees and today it is 27 degrees. Um, so I'm going to do it one more time. Um, really I don't think that it's going to do anything except for remove the ice. But uh, I, I had to do it just to find out for myself and now you know as well. So let's go do it. Okay, so still no brakes. Looks really good. Just uh, free of ice. Well, there's that little chip right here. No change. So that was the 11th time I did that and still the same result. It just removes the ice. It didn't make a pre-existing chip uh, spread. There's no cracks. The windshield looks great. Um, so it worked on that car. It doesn't mean it will on yours, so I, I'm still not going to recommend that you do that. Don't do it just because you saw uh, me get away with it for 11 times in a row. Could be a fluke, right? Anyways, I had to try it, so I did it so you don't have to. Thanks for tuning in.